Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a freestanding water bottle holder for your dogs out of using bits and pieces. This water bottle holder is made up of an antique cast iron lamp base. I think that's an 8 inch piece of PVC pipe. And then I've cut wood to hold it in on the base. And I've cut wood to make the top. I've added a Actually, it was a broken doorknob handle. I think there's another piece that's supposed to be here on top. And then I've drilled holes in it to attach the water bottle holders. And I'm going to show you how to use another one using bits and pieces that I've got here out of a candle holder. cut a smaller piece so I can measure it. I cut a smaller piece so I can draw on the wood that I want to use for my base of the holder and for um, the top. This small piece I'll be able to trace the inside and the outside to make my, my top and bottom. So I need two of the inside diameter, so I'm going to trace two. Just use some scrap wood. And then I need one for the outside. This outside one I'm going to cut a little bit bigger than I draw because I want it to overlap just a little bit. Not too much or otherwise it will hit the sides of the water bottle and pu push them outward. Okay, I'm going to be cutting these out with a scroll saw so I can use both hands. I kind of think this is like using my sewing machine. Ta-da! I'm hoping this picks up. It's kind of dark out in the shade. Anyhow, this is a... Whoops, that's part of a lamp. This is a, a candle holder base, and as it was broke here, I bought it at a tag sale for a little nothing. So I've been really anxious to deconstruct this to see how I want to put it together. I thought it'd be pr pretty. So I'm going to take this screw loose so we can see. like I'm going to need to get another threaded piece because I think that this won't be quite long enough to do everything I want to. So I'll have to go to the store. I'll have to buy a new threaded piece that's threaded completely. And we'll have a few pieces attached down here. I think I'll do this. And where's the bottom? Put this on the top. But we'll just play around with it and decide what looks best. I've also got a knob I'm going to put on the top here. And I'll show it to you when I got it all put together. Anyhow, I'm going to finish up on this this water bottle holder. What I've done on this is I've taken fingernail polish. It's the PVC pipe. I've taken fingernail polish remover and removed the wiped off the writing the best I could. I've sprayed painted a gold, and I have attached the bottom. And what I've done is attach it is I just put screws in. I I drilled pilot holes, and then I used my tape measure and measured around for one inch. If you don't have this kind of tape measure, you can use a piece of paper and draw your marks on to, to plot it out. And when I ended up on this last time, 
finish up, I needed a threaded piece because the other piece wasn't right. So I went and bought a 12 inch piece. And then I took a hacksaw and cut it down. So I'm going to start putting this together. I put the duct tape on here because this seems to be a plaster type stuff and when the threads was rubbing up against it, it was kind of scraping on the side and leaving a powdery residue. Okay, this was a candle holder. This part was part of a candle holder. This part's part of a light. This was on that candle holder also. I purchased a, a knob, a pull knob at Hobby Lobby and since I had to to use a five inch screw to hold all this stuff to the wood. I ended up um, cutting the bottom of the, the screw off of it because it didn't have a turn type and I wanted to keep that, that part of the, the decoration. And I turned this piece was upside down. I turned it the other way because it wouldn't fit over top of that screw. And I'm gonna glue that on. So anyhow, oops. Gonna run this through the base. Of course, when I don't have the camera on, it goes really good. There we go. And this was just some rubber gaskets that were with the candle to keep it from chipping. And I thought I'd continue that. I played around with it till I decided how I wanted it. And this is the way I liked it best. So I'm just going to put a washer on there. The bolt. The nut, excuse me. Pardon me if I use the wrong words. I know what I want to do, but to express it sometimes, this doesn't come out right. And I'm going to use some quick hold just to keep the, the nut from working its way loose. Or you can use um, Loctite. This piece is 12 inches. Let's see if I can get that to come up a little bit for you to see the top better. This piece is 12 inches. I, I drilled the holes 4 inches down on the pipe. I think this is a four inch pipe and then like on the what, earlier I showed you how to cut these it just sits on top and then I'm going to use the E6000 to put the top on I've seen other YouTubers use this, so this is the first time using it, so I'm hoping it holds. It's in the automotive section at the farm store, which I found out. But it was two, two more dollars in the box store for the big one. And I'm going to just let that set up. These water bottle holders you can either get at dog shows or you can order them online. Do a Google search for dog water bottles. I've, I've found them before. I don't know what the website is. Um, they're about 15 bucks a piece. Um, they come with the small size bottle or the larger size bottle or you can cut the ring off like the water bottles you buy at the grocery store and they will fit in that thread too. They're a little bigger so sometimes I use them on my ex exercise pens. It doesn't look like it's sitting too straight. And they just have a little screw knob on here. You can hear a noise in the background. That's the dogs in the other room licking on. The other water bottle holder. I don't want to screw it down too tight to scrape off my paint, but I want it tight enough that it will hold the bottle. 
they just snap in. And there you have it, a freestanding water bottle holder. If you like these videos, subscribe, like. I'm planning on making some more um, DIY projects that